it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. This is what we're making today. <laughs> it's the Spotify code on an acrylic sign. Um, I love it. It's perfect for, so what people do is you have your Spotify app on your phone and you take out, um, within the app, there's a section where you can search and then you use your camera and you scan this code and it automatically plays your song. So it's great for, a gift for all your girlfriends if it's if you guys have a song that you go out to um, it's great for a wedding gift it's their wedding song or for your husband or for your house it's your anniversary song wedding song a song that you guys like um, anything like that or even for your kids room it's their favorite song all that you know what's really cute you could do one every year for their birthday and it's their favorite song and you can have a cute little picture there's so many things that you can do with it. So, all right, I made a ton of mistakes in researching this. So I'm gonna show you the easiest way to do it. First thing is, let's go to Spotify. I did this song, Overwhelmed, but let's say you did, um, I can't think of anything. I'm gonna do the Roar song by Katy Perry, okay? So we're gonna go to the album and you want that specific song, right? Let's say we want Roar. So you wanna click on the three dots you want to go to share and copy Spotify URL. Okay, now what you're gonna do then is we're gonna go to spotifycodes.com, okay? You're gonna drop that code in here and then you get the Spotify code, or it's the URI. I thought it was URL. Okay, this is what it looks like. It's gonna give you the Spotify icon and then your code. So over here you can choose whatever you want, I left everything the same. The only thing I changed was I wanted an SVG file. So once you have it, download it. Okay, so it's downloading right here, all right? Now, <laughs> what is important that I did not know is I wanted to make this code as big as possible, so I cut off the Spotify icon. It turns out that even though you're in the Spotify uh, app, it needs to see this Spotify icon with this code, all right? So I can't tell you how many times I made that mistake. <laughs> all right, next, let's go to, I went to Creative Fabrica because I love this um, company and I am an ambassador for um, Creative Fabrica. So I typed in Spotify. I don't, you can recreate all these things, right? But because I'm already a member, um, I just went in here and I found it. So I liked this one. I mean, there's so many that you can choose from here, right, as you can see. So on this one, if this is the one that you want, uh, purchase it, download it, and then we're gonna upload it into Design Space. All right, so let's go to Design Space. This is kind of, this is my finished product. So I'm gonna show you, we're gonna recreate it though. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to Upload, Upload Image, browse we're gonna go get that spotify code and that was probably in downloads and here's my spotify code so i'm gonna double click on it so i'm gonna put spotify roar hit save and here you have it select it and select this one as well if you have that and insert image Okay, and I can already see this image is ginormous, right? And you can tell because it's selected and it's saying the width is 108 inches. So just click in here whenever you have those craziness um, of files, I you know, just do like five and five. So now we can see it. So here it is at five inches. Here's my code. Um, with this one, I don't want the black. I just want the, the icon and the code. So you can see it's all right here. On the right hand side, the panel, this panel is your best friend. You can see what's going on with, with the file. So I'm gonna click on that black barcode and just delete it, I don't need it. Now my acrylic sign is a five by seven. So I'm gonna bring in a square and I'm gonna unlock it and change it to five by seven. So now I can resize everything to fit this, then I know it will work. Okay, so I'm gonna move that over here for a second and I'm gonna change it to a light gray just so that then I can see everything, okay? So here's my Spotify code. Um, 
let's bring this arranged center the back so we can see everything that's on it. Okay. Now this is five inches as well. That's going to be too big, right? So I would maybe do 4.5 to make sure that it's completely in my acrylic sign as you know, like this, then, um, I don't have a lot of pictures of my husband and myself. Um, there's only a handful that I really like. And so those handful of pictures are rotated a bazillion times. So instead what I ended up doing was I picked out some of my favorite lyrics from the song and, and, and put it here. So I don't need this square or this rectangle for my picture outline. So what I'm going to do, and I can see over here that it's all one welded image, right? So the only way for me to separate out the rectangle is to slice it. So I'm going to take a square. Now, whenever you're slicing to remove things, you can only slice two items at one time. So it's going to be my square and my Spotify image, right? So what you want to make sure is because I'm trying to get the square or the rectangle to be off by itself. I'm going to unlock this for a second. I need to make sure that my square is covering either everything that I want to keep or everything that I want to remove. It's one or the other, but you want to make sure the whole thing is in there. So my whole bottom that I want to use is completely covered in my rectangle and I'm going to grab the two items and I'm going to slice. So now my, my top frame, I can just delete and you can delete all your slice results. We don't need, we don't need that. So you can delete that. We don't need this. And now we have this separated, okay? So the way I had it was I had this at the bottom and you can make this a little bit longer, right? So I'm gonna change that width to 4.5 and it's gonna look like this. Maybe this, um, the Spotify sign can go up a little bit and then that leaves room for my lyrics. Now my lyrics, I did it two ways. I thought that in cursive, it was too hard to read. And I'm gonna do this in maybe a different color so you could see it better. Okay. And then I did it in print. The print was, and it's also partially because I chose metallic foil, which I love the look and feel of metallic foil, but it's a little bit more difficult to cut and weed. So I ended up losing some of my letters. So I went back and redid it in cursive. So because it's in cursive, I did it in Inkscape because I wanted all my letters to be connected. And I'm going to show you what I mean. So this font is not the font that I used, but it is a cursive font. So I'm going to type in and in our moments so you can see what it looks like. All right. So where are my words? What happened? Uh, let me get rid of this for a second. Let's zoom out for a minute. I don't know where my text is. I've typed it in twice and it's not working. All right, so design space is glitching on me. I can't type in the words. But that's okay. I mean, I think you guys know when you type in cursive, each letter is separated. So you need to ungroup it and then move it close together and then weld it so that it is one continuous piece, right? So instead you can use font lab pad, word, whatever it is so that you can type it. Cause in any other app, cursive fonts, scripty fonts are always connected. So, all right. Um, so what I did was I ended up I'm going to go to upload because here it is. All right. I'm like, wait a minute. Where is it? <laughs> okay. It's coming in. So you can see the word and it's all connected, right? And that's the way we want to, but you always want to weld this to make sure so that it's all one piece. Okay. Now, once you've welded it, we're going to resize it so that it fits in our little section up here, right? Okay. 
and you don't want the words too small because you know you're gonna have to weed it later. <laughs> so you don't wanna make it so, so small, right? I'm gonna make this maybe 4.25 across. Now, we have some room. Well, this looks good. Okay, so what I would do then is I would grab all of this and go to a line and you wanna center it. So everything gets centered based on this five by seven, okay? So this is the way you're going to apply it onto your acrylic sign. Duplicate it. Because what you wanna do now is, I'm going to um, just delete everything that I had from before, okay? That way I can have this side by side and you can see it. So these are identical. One is gonna be cut and one you're going to print it, okay? So you're gonna change this, hit your shift key, grab everything that's on here, except for the square. And you're gonna change it from cut to draw. So it's gonna draw everything out. The reason why you want that is because you want this. This is on cardstock, it's our whole thing. When you're doing an acrylic sign, this is gonna be your lifesaver, this little drawn out paper, because you're gonna put it underneath your acrylic sign and you're gonna tape it. You're gonna use washi tape, tape it to the back. So now you have a template. You know exactly how to put on your adhesive so that it's perfectly straight. That is the secret, when you don't have to worry about if something is straight, you can hold your vinyl completely taut and tight and lay it down, you're gonna have no bubbles. It's not only is it no bubbles, but it's gonna be perfectly straight. You're gonna have a perfect project and it's gonna be beautiful. So that's what we want. So you changed everything that we are cutting out in vinyl. We're changing it to draw, right? Then what you wanna do is this rectangle is cut. So it's gonna cut out a five by seven piece perfectly. So it fits perfectly underneath your acrylic sign. Then what you wanna do is you wanna grab the draw and the cut paper and you wanna attach it because you want the words to be drawn on, onto that rectangle exactly where it is so it's perfectly centered, okay? So this is one thing. This over here is your cut file. We don't need the, uh, the rectangle behind it because that was just for measurement purposes. This, we want it all on black, right? Or whatever color you end up cutting it in, it doesn't matter. Um, I don't know why it's doing that. Let's go to the Make It screen and see what, what it gives us. And oh man, it's taking a while. Why? Okay. So on this one, do you see how it says draw and cut? So basically it's gonna cut our rectangle, a perfect five by seven, and then all of this, it's gonna draw exactly there. So it's gonna be perfectly centered, perfectly awesome. Then we're gonna go to our cut file. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so our cut file is an issue. Do you see this barcode? We need to attach it so that it's in the right order. This is not gonna scan well. So let's go to cancel really quickly. And I don't know what happened to the rest of our of, of our icon. So let's look at that for a quick minute. But we're almost done. Okay, so let's look at this. Um, let's go to contour. What's going on here? Okay, so we... Did that help? No, that didn't. That's so weird. Let's change the color so I can see. Okay, there. I don't know why it did that, but that's okay. Now it's all there. Then we want this to attach so that it's cut in the right order. Okay, hold on, let's detach that for a second. Let's grab that, let's see. 
Let's ungroup this for a second. Let's look at this. Why is it doing that? All right. Let's go back to this contour. Hide all, show all. I don't know why this one, when it's in black, you can't see it. So it's gonna cut out, but it's just a little weird. All right, so this one, okay, these are individual pieces right now. So what we wanna do is we wanna grab this and we wanna attach it because we want it to cut in this particular order, okay? And then in this one, I know it's gonna cut out fine because I've done it. Um, you can change it to black, but just know it's gonna cut. Okay, so now let's go to the Make It screen. And I think because you know what it is, I've seen that happen before, I think it's doing a double cut around the edges. So don't worry, it's gonna be fine because I did it and it gave me the sign. Um, okay, so here it's gonna draw out everything, it's gonna cut the rectangle, and then over here, now this is what we wanted, right? It needs to be in this order, and here's our words. And that, my friend, is a wrap. <laughs> All right, I have a video on how to assemble it and how to paint, and it looks so cute. I can't wait to show my husband. But I think this is cute. I wanna do one for my girlfriends if we had like a theme song. Maybe it's something that you do every Friday night or movie night or whatever, or from your favorite movie. So many different possibilities. All right, questions, comments, please post them here. If you have a special request, post it here as well. And then also send me an email. It's Ann, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. All right, thanks guys, bye.